honor your body. Your body is the temple of your spirit, your soul. Honor your body, the connection to your body. Center in your heart and connect with the physical, for this is why we're here, to be, to be physical. Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me today for this activation session. Today I feel guided to speak about self-denial. Now I made previous videos recently. Um, one video was about the connection to the physical body and one video was about um, self-acceptance and self-love. So feel free to go look at those videos and they will have some valuable information. And this video today, self-denial, is basically a add-on to the information that I had previously spoken about. So today is going to be about self-denial, which basically is when we deny our physical body and our self, our essence, and when we have um, little or no connection to the physical body and to the self, to our uh, true nature, if you so want. And again, I had already previously made a video about the connection to the physical body. And this today is just going to add on to this and go into a little bit more detail in certain areas. So the self-denial is when we have emotional issues and uh, mental or um, thought process mind issues if you so want um, when we're too much in our mind too much in our thoughts too much in our head and disregarding the physical body or too much into how should I word this spiritual stuff and we're denying or rejecting the physical body and we're more out there with our spirit soul whatever you would like to call it um, you may have heard people speak about um, astral traveling and things like that now this is all part of this reality that we're creating yes but if we um, are not balanced between the let's say spiritual stuff or being in our mind in our head in our thoughts in our brain and being in the physical if that is not balanced and furthermore if it is being rejected yes the physical body and um, the true nature of what we are then we can see a lot of um, issues issues problems arise in the physical and the non-physical both okay it can cause mental health issues, it can cause emotional health issues, and physical, physical body issues, yes? So, the self-denial is not just the physical, but also non-physical part of self, of what the true essence is. And it shows as 
one of one of the big signs that there is self denial is allergies any and all forms of allergies where basically our physical body shows an allergic reaction to something whether that be um, let's say hay fever allergies mold and mildew allergies whether that be um, food allergies and it doesn't matter how severe the allergies are any form of allergies and this is coming from my own experience any form of allergies hint or show a form of self-denial now and there's different variations of this fibromyalgia is a form a physical appearance of self-denial yes so denying the physical body denying the physical existence the the physical because we are here to have a physical experience and I spoke about this before we're here to have a physical experience yes and if we deny that experience we're having if we deny any part of this physical being physical we will see issues because then the body and the soul spirit whatever you would like to refer to is not connected or not fully connected and then we see issues energetically and physically so allergies are a major sign of they're not um, being a balance between the physical and the non-physical of there being um, difficulties anchoring and connecting into the body and it's not just difficulty anchoring and connecting with the physical body and I like I said I made a video about connecting with the physical body but it's actually a denial of the physical body so uh, that would look like emotionally not being happy with self not being happy with the physical body rejecting parts or all of the physical body yes not being happy um, not trusting um, not liking the physical body rejecting it in any way shape or form we're having a thunderstorm which is good because that clears energy and it's necessary. We've had a lot of heat here lately and a lot of build up energy. It was like a steaming hot melting pot. So this thunderstorm will clear some of that energy, which is nice. So rejection of the physical body because we don't like parts of it or we don't like all of it or we're unhappy with it. This emotional and mental self-talk of oh I don't like my nose I don't like my hair I don't like my stomach I don't like my legs whatever it is this type of rejection is self-denial yes and it will lead because physical and non-physical is always connected and if we're not anchored in properly because we're rejecting some or all of this physical body that self-denial and that will lead to issues mentally emotionally physically and the physical form one of the physical signs of self-denial is allergies I hope that makes sense any form of allergies or like I said fibromyalgia is a form of uh, a physical sign of self-denial whether you're denying your body or you don't like your emotions or it's a physical form of self-denial and it then shows up in the physical body as fibromyalgia as you know aim 
in certain or all body parts areas yes so if you deny reject in any way shape or form your emotions your thoughts your physical body it will appear in your physical reality in any way shape or form and that's why I said by my own experience allergies is a huge sign of there being an issue with self rejection and self denial now this is not always the same form there is different ways and forms like i said it could be a physical rejection of the physical body it could be um rejecting certain emotions it could be it could be different things for different bodies because every physical body just like we have different DNA makeup, every physical body has a different makeup, has different emotions, different thought forms, different patterns and behaviors, yes? So it can be different for every single physical body, but the root cause of things like allergies, no matter how severe or not severe those allergies are, the root cause is a rejection and denial of the body and the self. Rejection of emotions, denial of emotions, denial of thoughts. Sometimes people bodies, people live in their head only and reject the physical. They live in a fantasy world and reject their own physical reality that they created but often they don't realize they have created this so they're rejecting what's there right in front of them and that too is a form of self-denial and rejection because when we reject our own creation which is the physical body and our what we perceive as physical reality again that creates issues mentally emotionally and physically now there are other signs of self-denial and self-rejection I just felt that the allergy part is one of the most common that we see appearing in our physical reality that most beings have issues with and it's one of the easiest pinpoint signs to say there's an issue with self-denial and self-rejection and that's why this allergy is showing up in the physical body. I hope that makes sense. So that's why I mentioned earlier this video is directly connected or an add-on to my previous video about connection to the physical body and the other video I made about self-acceptance and self-love because if we do not accept ourselves mentally, emotionally, physically, yes, that is a rejection, a, a denial, a self-denial. So the way to to help with self-denial and self-rejection if you have let's say severe allergies or less severe allergies or fibromyalgia for instance the way to activate body physical healing in your own physical body is self-acceptance and self-love and again this can be different for every physical body because every physical body has a different makeup and every diff every physical body has not um, two bodies are the same when it comes to um, self-denial so one person may be rejecting their physical form 
one person may be rejecting the emotions. Yes. So it has to be looked at in a holistic way, but in every physical body specifically, the root cause of why there is a self-denial and rejection. Okay? And once the root cause is pinpointed, let's say for instance, um, just an example, uh, I don't like my ears, okay? Let's say I don't like my ears, I reject my ears, I don't like my ears, I never liked my ears when I was a child, I was discriminated against or teased about my ears let's just say that now I have no issues with my ears but it, that was an easy example um, and kids were teasing me about my ears and even adults said something about my ears so now I have this distorted perception that there's something not right with my ears and I reject the physical appearance of my ears okay so that will not only affect me emotionally because now I feel insecure, I lack trust in self, I doubt myself, and I may even feel angry at my ears and myself. Yes, I have that kind of lack of self-love and compassion. It's not only that, it also creates mental issues where I constantly have a story running in my head, in my thoughts, about there's something wrong with my ears. Because I was told that as a child, there's something wrong with my ears. So this story, memory, stories, that there's something wrong with my ears, follows me through all my life and affects directly my emotional, my mental and my physical health because now that I keep thinking all my life since I was a child I was told there's something wrong with my ears yeah okay follow the story now I may develop issues with my ears I may develop ear infections because I don't like my ears and I was always told there's something wrong with my ears I may develop ear infections which then may lead to loss of hearing or partial loss of hearing yes because i don't trust my body i don't trust my ears because i was always told there's something wrong with my ears so do you see where i'm coming from you have uh now you have mental issues with the ears you have emotional issues with the ears and you have physical issues with the ears which then leads to this whole package of self-projection and self-denial and even if it's just your ears you're rejecting you're rejecting a part of your physical body which is your vehicle in this physical reality yes it's the moment you are rejecting part of yourself it is creating energetical and physical emotional and mental issues yes so let's just say with the example of the story with the ears, in order to process, clear and release this type of self-rejection, denial with the ears, when we stay with the story with the ears, we will have to look at what caused this belief that there is something wrong with the ears. It usually starts mentally and emotionally, yes? Treat whatever is physically affecting now our ears because for so long we have the story that there is something wrong with the ears, yeah? So now we have physical issues that needs to be treated and addressed as well, yes? If you suffer from constant ear infections, chronic ear infections, have a look how you feel about your ears, literally. What is your connection with your ears? Yes? Where you perhaps always told, oh, you always get ear infections. It's always been like that ever since you were little. Yes, that is a limiting belief that can be processed, that can be processed, cleared and released. But it 
needs to be looked at as a whole, mentally, emotionally, and physically, in order to process, clear, and release. So we cannot just say, oh, I, from today on, I start loving my ears, and that will take care of the issue. It's unfortunately not that simple, okay? Another sign of self-rejection, self-denial can be chronic pain. If um, you hold any sort of stories, beliefs, anger, resentment towards your own physical body, that there's something wrong with your body, that your body is not right, that your body has issues, that your body should be different in any way, shape or form. That can lead to chronic pain in certain parts of your body. As a root cause, yes, I'm talking about root causes. It could also be attachments to people, places, situations. If you had an experience, a certain experience in a certain situation with a certain person, that can also lead to when if if for instance somebody told you, oh, um, you're too overweight or too underweight, you're too... I, me personally, when I was younger, I was always, always told I was skinny. I was too skinny. The doctor told me I was too skinny. My parents told me I was too skinny. In the school, I was told I was too skinny. People made fun of me because I was too skinny. And I ended up being anorexic for several years when I was in my early 20s. I ended up with anorexia because I had a distorted perception of my own physical body and that also too is a form of self-denial. Eating disorders directly connected with the solar plexus which is the center of self and self-awareness Yes, and I spoke about this before. Eating disorders in any way, shape, or form, whether it's bulimia, whether it's anorexia, any other way, shape, or form of eating disorders directly connected with self-denial. The inability to accept your physical body or your emotions or your thoughts your mental health yes so any way shape or form of eating disorders yes whether it's diagnosed by a professional or not any way sh or shape or form of eating disorders is directly connected to the solar plexus and is a form of self-rejection and self-denial yes because what happens when we reject, deny, reject, deny the physical body in any way, shape or form is that our energy, essence, soul, spirit, whatever you would like to label it, cannot fully anchor into the physical body because it is being rejected, denied, yes? So when te people speak about anchoring into the body or grounding, if there is a form, any way or form of self-denial, self-rejection, there is no full grounding, full anchoring into the physical because it's being rejected, yes? And if you're not fully grounded and anchored into your physical body, you lose that connection with your physical body and then any form of 
issues, ailments, dis-ease may go unnoticed because you lack the connection to your physical body because you're not anchored into your physical body, you're not grounded into your physical reality because of self-denial and self-rejection. Yes? It doesn't matter if it's the rejection of your physical body or if you don't like your situation. Reject your life. Reject your life. Is rejecting your physical reality rejecting your life? If you rejecting your emotions, if you don't want to deal with your emotions, if you're rejecting your emotions, all of that is a form of self-denial and self-rejection. Okay, it's not just the physical, but the physical also plays a major role in this. Yes? So the answer to address issues of self-denial and self-rejection and any signs of that, let's say you have allergies or you have fibromyalgia or chronic pain or eating disorders, yes, is get down to the root. Why are you rejecting yourself? your body or your emotions, whatever it is you're rejecting, whatever it is you do not want to look at, whatever it is you do not want to process and feel through the physical body, okay? And again, this is different for every single physical body because every physical body has a different makeup, a different DNA, different emotions, different feelings, different thoughts and memories, holds different memories in the DNA, yes? So it's different for, there is no one size fits all, okay? But this can be processed, cleared, and released through self-acceptance and self-love, which then leads back to the video I made about self-acceptance and self-love, and also the video I made about um, connecting with your physical body. Those already hold very good information. If you deal with self-denial and self-rejection in any way shape or form have a look at those two videos I previously made they already have some very good information in there okay but the solution if you want to call it that to self-rejection and self-denial is truly accepting yourself mentally emotionally physically in all ways shapes or forms that there is once you truly accept yourself and truly love yourself, including the physical, unconditionally, issues that come because of self-rejection and self-denial, let's say allergies, those issues will go away. Chronic pain, and that's not saying it's going away instantly. It's a work, a process, yes? The physical body is a constant work in progress, if you so want. Because any given day, there may be different issues, yes? And if you are connected and grounded and anchored into your physical body, you catch these issues before it turns into a physical ailment or disease. And you can address these issues because if you have the awareness where these issues have their roots in, yes, this can be energetically addressed through processing, clearing, releasing certain things, beliefs, whatever it is that is causing whatever issue, okay? If you wake up one day and you don't like yourself, and you don't even know why you just have a grumpy day you know and people say oh I got up with the wrong foot or something give yourself some extra love give yourself some extra attention because it all comes down to how much and if we unconditionally accept and love ourselves yes it all comes down to how well is your connection with your physical body? How well are you anchored and grounded into your physical body? Yes? So if you have issues that 
stem from self-projection and self-denial, physical issues or mental issues or or uh, emotional issues. Yes, if you um, have issue of codependency, codependency is a big sign of self-projection and self-denial because it is a huge sign of lack of self-trust. Yes, if you do not trust yourself. If you feel you need help from the perceived outside world, that is a huge, huge sign of codependency, a huge sign of self-rejection and self-denial, that you do not trust your own self to know what's best for you, that you need help from the perceived outside, perceived other beings, other bodies out there, yes? Instead of using your own intuition and inner knowing, that is always there, but often gets overwritten by the mind and the emotions, yes? It is all connected. That's why a lot of people talk about a holistic approach where you really look at everything in a package. It's all a package, yes? You cannot separate your emotions or your thoughts or your physical body, yes? Unless you're not in your physical body anymore, but then it doesn't matter anymore either because then your physical body is gone. Yes? So, coming back to the stories about the ears that I was talking about. Now, if you have certain beliefs that you don't like your ears because you were always told there's something wrong with your ears, it needs to start there with your memories. Your Look at what your beliefs are. What is creating this? distorted perception of your own ears, okay? And then you look at your emotions. Why do I feel that there's something wrong with my ears? Again, it has to do with your memories most likely, yes? Why do you not like your own ears, okay? So it needs to be looked at from different angles, different perspectives to be able to process and get to the higher perception or perspective that really there's nothing wrong with your ears it's just that all your life you were told there's something wrong with your ears and you took it on as your own perspective even though it's not your own it was something that someone on the outside on the external told you okay people tease you about your ears people said there's something wrong with your ears you have elephant ears all kinds of things like that okay that directly affects us, how we perceive our own physical body. Hmm? But it can be looked at, it can be processed, released, and cleared. Okay? We need to look at the root cause of what causes that feeling, the thought that there's something wrong with our ears. Okay? It, as that example. Yes? When I cleared my anorexia and I did not do therapy, I did not take medication, I had a lot of family support and I cleared my own limiting beliefs and emotions, processed, cleared and released the distorted perception I had of my own physical body. Yes, and it had a lot to do with being teased as a child, always being told, oh, you're too thin, you're too skinny, you never get a husband because you're so skinny, stuff like that. People don't even know what comes out of their mouth sometimes. It's true. Yes, and that stuff can stick with us and for me it showed up when I was in my early 20s and I ended up having an eating disorder and it took forever to make that connection why I was rejecting my physical body I just kept saying when people said you're getting skinnier and skinnier which that that statement in itself did not make things better for me, it made it worse because it just confirmed that I am too skinny already. Yes. But then it ended up 
me saying, oh, I'm not hungry. Oh, I just don't feel like eating. Oh, I just don't feel hungry at the moment. Yes. We have to start with ourselves and there is no blaming other people for what they said to us. It has to come from within the recognition and realization that because of our perception, mental and emotional, we have issues with our physical or mental or emotional health, which then leads to self-denial, self-rejection, if you so want, okay? So it has to be a whole package. And like I said, it, it usually takes some work. I'm not saying you need help from the external because I like to promote that you are your own hero and you are your own healer and you can do this, but it helps to have support in this, yes? If you feel you need support, yes, it is helpful to have support. But if you have issues, if you give yourself all the love and acceptance unconditionally, that is the start to activating your own healing. And again, it needs to be looked at the root cause of why are you feeling that way about your own body or your emotions or your, your yes? Uh, some people are self, in self, um, deny themselves because they're constantly being told or they were told as a child, oh, you're stupid, you're not smart enough. Yes, so they reject certain parts of themselves, whether it's mentally or emotionally or physically. Yes. So it needs to be looked at without putting any blame, shame or guilt out there. Yes, because everything is still our own creation. Okay, everything comes from within us and is our creation and it needs to be processed, cleared and released through us, through the, yes, through the physical body. Okay, so thank you, bird. They're agreeing with me. Um, see, nature doesn't have any of those issues. Nature does not have self rejection issues because nature is happy with what is, they are accepting unconditionally what is. Yeah, there is no bird sitting there. Oh, I don't like my wings today, or I don't like my tail today. No, it's <laughs> just the humans who, you know. And I also have um, Reiki videos for um, connecting to your physical body. And I have a Reiki video uh, for self-acceptance and self-love. So these are also very beneficial when you're dealing with um, self-denial and um, self-rejection. Okay? So you can always have a look and you can run any of my Reiki videos. You can run it as often as you like. You can loop these. It, it, um, it will always work at any given moment, but depending on um, the issues your physical body has, it may need more than one time watching the video it may need and it, I cannot say you may have to watch it three times or you may have to watch it ten times or watch it once every day for two weeks no I'm not giving that type of advice because I am empowering you to have that own self-awareness and connection to your physical body so that your physical body can tell you what is needed yes so that you get that awareness and connection and get your own intuition of what is needed. Yes, if you need to watch the video 10 times or 20 times, or if you only need to watch it once, your physical body and your inner knowing, your intuition 
through the heart will tell you if you're willing to listen, if you are able to tune in, if you can calm down the mind chatter and can listen to your inner guidance, your inner knowing. You will know how many times you need to watch any given video. But aside from that, you are free to watch it as often as you want, to loop it non-stop. It doesn't matter. It, it's not, not non-beneficial. Yes? It, you can run it as often as you like. Okay? So, to come to a conclusion here before this gets any longer, <laughs> your physical body is your vehicle in this apparent physical reality. And if you have any way, shape, form of self-rejection, self-denial, you will see issues mentally, emotionally, and physically. It will manifest. Because your spirit, your soul, your energy, whatever you would like to call it, cannot anchor into what you are rejecting and denying. Yes? I hope that makes sense. Your physical body is your temple for your soul, for your spirit. And if you are rejecting your temple, your soul, your spirit cannot fully anchor in and cannot fully ground into this. And then you and then you have difficulties, that's another thing. If you have any way, shape or form of self-rejection, whether it's emotionally, whether it's physically, it doesn't matter. If you have any way, shape or form of self-rejection and self-denial, you will have most likely difficulties with manifestation, conscious manifestation. Because as long as you are rejecting and denying any part, whether it's physical or non-physical, of yourself, you have, you lack the conscious awareness that it takes to have free will and choose your manifestation, your creation, your reality consciously. Now we are creating, and I just made a video about that as well, about conscious manifestation and creation. We're creating non-stop, constantly. The question is, are you aware of what you are creating? Are you conscious aware of what you are manifesting at any given moment? Or is your creation, your manifestation coming from lack, limiting beliefs, old patterns and behaviors? Yes, self-denial and self-rejection is a form of limiting belief. And as long as you're limiting yourself in any way, shape or form, it is difficult to have free will and consciously create and manifest the reality that you would like to see because it has to come through the physical body. Yes, creation manifestation comes through the physical body. This is our creation tool if you so want. Okay? And again, if you have issues with self-denial and self-rejection, then your output that's coming out, which is your creation, your manifestation, your energy, will not necessarily be resulting in what you are intending or what you would like to see as manifestation in your apparent physical reality. Yes? So it affects your whole life. If you have any way, shape or form of self-denial and self-rejection, it will affect your whole life on any given level in in one form or another okay and again the, the solution or the answer to um self activation activate self healing again i'm not doing the healings healings for you. I'm sending out activations so you are empowered to process, clear, 
and release whatever your physical body, whatever you need to process, clear and release. I am sending out the activations, okay, which will then help your body get activated, get started, so to say. It's a starting help, yes? But you still need to do your own inner work. Yes, because if you still hold limiting beliefs in any way, shape, or form, I can send as many activations as I want and it will not take, it will not catch unless you do your own inner work. I hope that makes sense. Yes? So, the answer to... Um, Clearing or healing or whatever you want to call it, uh, self-denial and self-rejection is processing, looking at the root and unconditional self-acceptance and self-love. Yes, unconditional means no condition put on it. Yes, and when you once you are in that energy in that frequency where you can unconditionally accept and love yourself then away goes the issue issue of self-denial and self-rejection because they're two sides of the same coin so once you are in the energy the frequency of your unconditional accept yourself and you unconditionally love yourself yes all of it the whole package unconditionally then there is no more energies of self-denial, self-doubt, self-hate, um, self-anger, it's any any of that. Yes, that, that gets cleared and released once you are in that. Yes, but it is a process and it needs to be seen as an overall approach. Yes, so it's again mentally, emotionally, physically. It all has to work together. Yeah? Again, this is your temple for your soul, spirit, yes? This is your vehicle in this physical reality. And even though any experience, whether we label it pleasant or unpleasant, any experience is loved and welcomed by God, Creator, Source, Spirit, the Universe, the experience the physical body has is more pleasant when you get rid of a lot of limiting beliefs and junks and you know you get the idea when you can fully accept and love yourself the output you have into your apparent physical reality would then reflect back to you and you will notice once you clear self-rejection and self-denial, once you fully and unconditionally respect yourself, love yourself, trust yourself, accept yourself, yes, that will reflect back to you from your apparent external and people, apparent people, beings, bodies out there will then Respect yourself, accept yourself, love yourself unconditionally, yes? Even though you don't need that external validation, you don't need it. Because once you give it to yourself, once you have it within you, and it's recognized, realized, internalized, Yes, you don't need that extra validation from the external no more. It does not matter anymore. It's just the cherry on top of the icing, if you so want. Yes, you don't need it at that point. Because you are whole and complete and you recognize and realize that you are whole and complete. And there is nothing, nothing from the external that you need that would make you more whole and more complete. There is only one whole and one complete. Yeah, there's nothing that can make you more whole and more complete. Hmm? So anything that you get back from the external, it's just, an, just a nice, yeah, to have, but you don't need it. 
Mm. And um, I truly want to empower any being on the perceived external because any being on the perceived external is also me. Yes, because we're all one consciousness, so there is only one really, one energy consciousness. So I would like to empower any body on the external to be able and capable to take care of themselves. Yes, because once you can give that to yourself and you recognize and realize you don't need anything from the external, then it will flow back to you and it's just a nice extra. Yeah, but you don't need it. Hmm. it that's a good place to be when you realize and recognize and really internalize, not just mentally, because then it's only a concept, but when it's recognized with the heart that you don't need anything, you are complete as is, okay? Now that doesn't mean you cannot have wishes for a new job, a new house, a new car, and whatever it is, yeah? But that's just a nice add-on. You don't need it to be happy. The peace, the inner peace, true inner peace comes with the recognition that you are already whole, complete, and perfect, and there is nothing in this external world that you need that makes you more complete or more perfect. Okay? <laughs> I hope that, um, I hope that makes sense. So, I thank you for spending the time here. I appreciate your presence very much. And I wish you the internal realization that you are all that and you are all that is and all that is is plenty is plenty okay the light in me recognizes that same light in you because we are all one light one consciousness one light I see you, I appreciate you, I honor you. So much love and blessings.